Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Rich. As Anand had said in his video about NVIDIA, me and Shashwat are going to dive and explain this a little longer, a little more stretched out, and hopefully give you some clarity if there's anything, any cause for excitement, or if it's more just PR stunt which is happening here than anything else. We want to see if there's any actual substance behind all this news. So what is this news, Shashwat, about NVIDIA? Right. So as it will flash on screen, there were multiple articles talking about India's industrial conglomerate Reliance, which will be joining hands with NVIDIA in order to open a data center in Jamnagar, Gujarat. So it basically tells us that there's going to be a data center opened up in Gujarat, Jamnagar, where we basically see that it is a data center where you have a bunch of data stored as the name suggests, and this is processed and used for different queries and different processes, depending on whatever is required off of this plant. So given this information, this is the crux of what's going on. And we also have some other information coming in that it's going to be renewably powered. That is renewable energy is going to power it. And there's also some information saying that the Tata group is going to adopt NVIDIA AI chips in order for its Tata communications branch which is also another big news headline, which has been covered by a lot of organizations. So these are the two main topics. So which one would you like to talk about first? Let's talk about NVIDIA. Okay. So when we talk about the partnership between NVIDIA and Reliance, I don't see, at least right now, I'm not able to see what is going to be the end product of having a data center opened up in tandem with NVIDIA in Jamnagar, Gujarat. As an Indian, it, it does fill me with pride to say that NVIDIA is going to be coming within domestic borders and opening up a data center along with an Indian company. But as an investor, I don't exactly see how this is materially going to affect my bottom line in the next year, two years, or even three, four years. Maybe in the next 10 years, if they build up the infrastructure, to be able to, I don't know, produce NVIDIA chips or even have our own homegrown AI model, which is going to compete with chat GPT per se. I don't see how this is going to affect my bottom line as an Indian investor, apart from filling me with pride that we're taking strides into the world of AI when a lot of other countries like China and the US are also taking strides in AI. One important point here is that Ambani and the NVIDIA chief have basically said that data is the most important factor when it comes to building AI models that are capable of performing various tasks. And this data is going to be available in, an, in abundance in India. And this data center is basically trying to capitalize on this abundance of data that's supposedly available in India. However, I don't exactly see what they plan to do with this data center because they haven't exactly said that they're going to be trying to build a native AI model, more so that they're just simply saying that AI is something which they're considering while building this data center along with the assistance of NVIDIA, which basically tells me that this is just a data center built with hardware from NVIDIA with nothing to do with AI, at least for now. What do you think about it? Well, I think this is uh, basically what's happened to NVIDIA is after the cold relationships China and the US have now, NVIDIA's markets are drying up. So it's exploring new markets where they'll be safe from uh, US oversight and India is safe and they need to show earnings for their investors and they need to show growth and sales for their investors to keep their stock price going the way because NVIDIA stock has re uh, corrected recently. So there's a lot of pressure on that guy to show, you know, some kind of numbers. So he's not only talking to Reliance, he's not only talking to Tata's, he's talking to Tech Mahindra, he's talking to Infosys, he's talking to anybody in India who's willing to listen. And anybody who's remotely has any chance of buying chips from him, he's ready to sell. So literally he's like, like Chai Wala's in the train. Chai, Chai, Chai. He's like walking around going, NVIDIA, NVIDIA, AI chips, NVIDIA, NVIDIA. So far, so far. <laughs> buy one take two free buy one take two free <laughs> so that's what's happening here is what i feel and uh, in turn uh, our indian counterparts here are trying to polish something i don't want to say the word and show it as some diamond when there's nothing really to show here because everybody wants to show some positive sign because there's a lot of pressure on indian stocks 
Indian companies and Nvidia also suffering a lot of pressure. So they're trying to throw something out of nothing here. I feel it's a lot of smokes and mirror. You actually have to see what this actually translates into, like you said, technology. And India is not the only one he's doing this to. He's doing this in Indonesia. He's doing it in Philippines. He's doing it wherever he can. He's walking around the world trying to sell NVIDIA chips. Yeah, and that brings me to the next point on Tata's. So that is something which we have more concrete information on and exactly what's happening. So the Tata's have basically said that for the Tata Communications company, they're going to be using the Blackwell chips of NVIDIA as well as another new chip which NVIDIA has released. They're also planning to use that for its technology, the Hopper chip, I think. And they're using both these chips to build up capabilities inside the company, which I think is far more concrete as an idea of what's happening. Because with the first idea, I'm not sure exactly what's happening. But here we do know that Tata is basically adopting its first batch of NVIDIA AI chips, which is always a welcome development because given that NVIDIA AI chips are seen to be the market leader in terms of AI computation. So this is a welcome development. And also an interesting point is that two senior government officials with knowledge of the developments said that NVIDIA is in constant touch with their India AI mission center, which is basically that they're trying to bring in AI capabilities into India. And they're saying that NVIDIA is one of the contenders in order to make sure that this infrastructure is brought in. And they are saying that there is no particular favor which is granted to NVIDIA, it's going to be a bidding process where the winning bidder will be selected based on who offers the best pricing for these computational technologies which they want to bring into India. And it doesn't seem that there's any favoritism that's going on. So that's all they're saying. So the point of all this is, end of the day, what you must understand is India has 1.5 billion Indians or more now sitting here. And a majority of them which are around 20% or even less, I would say probably around 15 to 10% are the high net worth individuals who have highly, a lot of disposable income, who these guys are targeting at for all this technology. The lower startup society, rural sector, right now, all this AI is nothing going pressing for them because they're right now surviving hand to mouth. And if you look at the situation, as far as we saw in the last video about uh, Indescent Bank and microfinance struggling in rural areas and FMCG companies are growing in rural areas. This right now is nothing but a lot of potentiality which is there. If India turns around and recovers fast enough and these technologies are in place, there's a huge potential market for them to exploit, for everybody to enjoy and make some money. So they're all gearing up towards that, which we'll have to wait and watch. As a value investor, what does this mean? Well, I would say as a value investor, yes, this is an important information for you to keep an eye on. But has, does this mean you go buy Reliance or you go buy NVIDIA or buy Tata uh, TCS or Tata Communications? Is no. What this means is, no, nah, this is interesting. They're trying to do something. Keep following it. Keep consuming this news and see where it goes. If you do see some kind of value building and some product development happening and earnings coming through this, then of course you can take this into consideration. Don't worry. There will be enough time for you to jump onto the train. It's not like the NVIDIA train where it will all skyrocket to... Uh, Tata Communication will not become a $10 trillion company overnight and you will not miss the bus. Don't worry. Don't panic. Don't have FOMO and start buying everything under the sun just because you see news items. These are all the editorials which are meant for uh, what you call to give... Selling copies. Bit of, yeah, to sell copies of paper and for public stunt to show that... Uh, make the guy come on newspaper and make him look very important. So that's about it. I will not put too much weight in this and I'll say wait and watch. So anyway... I hope you found this uh, video entertaining, if not informative, because information and substance is hardly anything there because the articles themselves did not contain too much information and substance. So, as I said, keep an eye out on this spectrum and see what happens. And as more stories and more details keep coming out, me and Shashwat will get back together again and talk more on, about this. As of now, don't worry about it. If you read and entertain yourself on a Saturday evening, if this is something which is up your stream, and if you're into IT and tech and AI and all this is up in your radar, then definitely it will be interesting news for you. Put down in comments what you think. Were we wrong in what we said? Were we right in what we said? We'd love to read what you, you guys are thinking about. And that will also help us to bring out better content for you. So do like, do share, do send it to family and friends who might enjoy this kind of content. Other than that, me and Shashwat would like to wish you a wonderful evening. And we will see you again tomorrow with another video. Thank you. Thank you.
Hey guys, that my uncles Vinod Srinivasan, Anand Srinivasan and I have rolled out our Substack, which is basically a blog slash newsletter where we're going to post our original research onto it. And we've analyzed macroeconomic trends. And a lot of you know, my uncle Anand Srinivasan and I regularly write for the Hindu. And these articles are also going to be made available for you in the Substack. The link is moat moat investing.substack.com. You'll find it in the description and in the video right now. Um, we hope you go check it out. We've put a lot of time and effort into it. Uh, and please give us comments and feedback on what you read. Thank you. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.